back to another exciting episode of Derek Derek Revolution, where I continue my journey to play through all of the PlayStation 2 Dance Dance Revolution titles, or just Dance Mac compatible games in general, because I also included In the Groove, Dance Factory, and a couple more still yet to come. Ooh, pardon my ankle cracks. Oh, I forgot to do my stretches, I think. So today I will be playing Supernova 2. Before I get started, I gotta do the obvious plug of why you should um, subscribe to the YouTube or Twitch channel, the links you can see on the screen right now. You can watch me do this live on Twitch. Uh, if you're seeing this, I'm, I might still be doing it because I only do this like once every week or two, and the episodes are coming out right now on the YouTube channel, which you should also subscribe to if you want to watch them in episodic format. Um, there's little to no editing, so there really isn't much of a difference. Aside from, uh, you should come and cheer me on live if you can. Uh, before I continue, I want to do a special thank you to Yule the Lucky Owl, uh, a new subscriber on both channels. Thank you for your nice comments. It's very encouraging, and uh, it makes me want to keep going to keep doing these DDR titles for anyone that's happy to watch, but also for my own physical health, because that's kind of what this is at about at the end of the day. Pardon the word flubbing there. Clearly my mental health is unaffected by this. Uh, so I took, uh, I did not stream last week end because, uh, Supernova took a lot out of me. We had the entire song list. Actually, I guess we can, uh, get rid of these. But yeah, I don't, also, I don't just do, um, uh, dancing content or rhythm game content. In fact, I barely ever do that. Oh, maybe I should throw the sensor up real quick in case a licensed video is playing. Okay, it isn't. Uh, but yeah, let's just, let's dive right into it. I mostly do, like, action game kind of stuff. I might be streaming Alien Isolation soon, maybe, to get excited for Alien Romulus. But for right now, we're getting excited for Dance Dance Revolution Supernova 2. I got my hydration drink, the first of probably two or three. I also added these to the background. I thought that'd make the background a little more interesting. Ooh, didn't mean to kick it that hard. They are, um... This is the box that, uh, this one back here, uh, this is the box that this dance mat came in. Uh, I ordered it on eBay a while ago, and this one is the PS3 version, which I bought a hundred years ago when it came out on the PlayStation 3. They're just kind of there for background fun, I guess. No real reason. I don't need to know how to play. I'm too far in. I guess, uh, like usual, we'll start with what's the difference between this one and the last one. Well, we know that the mission modes sort of started in uh, the Extreme series. And uh, Supernova improved on it by being a bit more open and Well, I mean, in Extreme... In Extreme, you could do um, kind of... Like, you could do branching paths and stuff. If a song was too hard, you could try something else. And then Supernova, the first one, kind of did that, where it was like, oh, you gotta do, like this many songs on this rating and here's a list you can choose from and then like a boss this one is a bit more straightforward a bit more linear you have these challenges here you have to do like i think like most of them to unlock the area boss which then when you beat that you unlock the next area which we select here And, uh, yeah, so there's not really a lot of optional stuff. If one's too hard, you just simply can't do it. I think the blue are, like, you didn't do perfect, and the yellow might be perfect. I don't know. It gets a lot harder as it goes. So as we can see here, I didn't... I can't do five and six. I have access to the boss. But, uh, it was too hard. And I can't go any further than H. I don't... Do I even have G's cleared? Yeah, I guess that one's cleared. It's just not... I didn't do all the missions, which is why they're not lit up. But yeah, so it's way more linear, whereas you just have these missions. And you can either do them or not. And uh, so that means I do not have the entire playlist unlocked. I tried really hard. This is a very hard game. Uh, one thing that they sort of changed about this is you can do this custom module thing. Where you can, you have like a character you're playing as and you can equip them with stuff. So when this loads, I'll be showing that off. So this one is, uh... So yeah, it's telling me that mission H08 is get A or better. 
Uh, this item here, assist judge one. What does it do? Oh, I, I guess I can... So yeah, there are like different parts. There's like the head, the stuff, you're the robot guy. I don't, um... What does assist judge do? It's not... Well, whatever the case, these... Okay, this one will assist health. So I have this assist damage too, equipped. Dance meter goes down more slowly, which is nice to have. Health do dance meter goes up faster. And then, yeah, there's just different things that, like, make the game a little bit easier. Like, uh, it'll be, like, change some greats to perfects if, like, you're doing a mission that needs a lot more perfects. Stuff like that. But those do cost points, which, like in Supernova, you have to continue playing to unlock. And, like, the, if you do, like, fail a bunch of times, you will unlock more items anyway to help you out. But, uh, yeah, I tried to make it as easy as I could, but I simply could not play any further. I do have most of the songs though, so it's not like we're missing a whole lot. Just like maybe five songs missing? I don't super know, I got a little bored of trying to figure it out, but I played the best I could. Everything else is still here, the workout mode, advanced mode, playlist, training mode, edit mode, online play, still not a thing we can do, records, options are all the same. This one actually has um the judgment timing and like the arrow displays as separate options. I tried to make it line up as much as I could, but again, I'm playing on original hardware through like a HDMI and stuff, so it's a little tricky. The shop is still pretty much the same, except of course with the addition of the items. So as we can see, I don't have I don't have this last this like special song. I think that was the same special song that I didn't have unlocked in Supernova that I eventually could afford at the end. So I just need to get fire, which you can see I'm almost at anyways. And then there's the courses, those are just like playlists and stuff, kind of no reason. You don't get modes until you've purchased every song. There's of course the different arrow styles, but we're still keeping it OG. Here's all the items like change some greats to perfects and goods to greats. Number of perfect increases, number of perfect in it. I think it does change the appearance of your robot too. Partially change to high rating, stuff like that. You can see there's, you know, little ways to help make the mission mode a little bit easier but that's it gone are the little pixies from supernova which is fine because they're just a bunch of recolors of the same model which is a bit boring let's get into it it's time to dance we're gonna do single player I'm gonna go down to standard mode give me all the songs i have unlocked yes i know wild that they st like ever since they added that. It's been warning you in every game about it. As you can see, it's pretty much the exact same layout. It's the classic scroll on the right side, information on the left. You got your things here. Once again, options is where you go to change character and stage. And uh, that sucks. But they're just on random. So we're going to have to suffer seeing the shitty baby occasionally. This uh, first batch of songs are, uh, as usual, going to be the licensed songs. So I have to be ready to throw up the handy sensor bar to cover half the screen. Or at least cover up as much of the official music video as I can. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. Aside from Yule the Lucky Owl that gets the special shoutouts, I'd like to thank anyone that was watching on YouTube. These videos are getting more views than I had expected, which is to say more than three. So if you're watching, thank you for watching. And I hope you'll come join me live. As usual, there's the warm-up period where I'm going to be screwing up quite a bit. Again, I didn't do this last weekend. 
took me a bit. Took me a while to recover from Supernova. Full song lists tend to do that when they last super long. Also, if having the DDR boxes in the background is distracting, leave a comment. Let me know. Let me know if you like this addition to the stream. Marvelous. And if I get any negative feedback, it won't be there next time. I just had them kicking around my room, and I thought it would be fun to put them in the background. Ooh, this is a fun one. Or sounds fun rather. I did um, do a bit of playing in this a bit ago. Pretty much like the day after I streamed Supernova 1. So none of these are going to be particularly fresh in my memory. As usual. So if the arrows look like they're not lining up visually, like to the audio, I might not have it synced perfectly. Like if they're sort of popping a little early. That's just kind of, uh, you know, <clears throat> the pains of doing stuff like this. Because like I said, it did um, have two different syncing options. Usually it's just been... Sorry, distracted by playing. Ooh. Usually it's just like there's a a judgment delay option. A judgment delay option, and that's kind of it. And you just always crank it up to the max, and it's good enough. This one had both one that changes the time of judgment, but also visually how the arrows line up. So I might not have that perfect, but again, this is playing on OG hardware, and that just kind of comes with the territory of stuff like this. I got it the best I could. But, uh, you know, sometimes my best isn't always the best. Also, I really should have set the stage count to five. Because <laughs> I think it's going to do the breakdown after this. But even if it's, like, visually not lined up perfectly, it's really about the audio.
That was a fun song. Whew. As I've played so many of these, I've run out of topics to talk about. <laughs> There's not much really more to say about DDR or what's going on in my life. I did mention that I may be streaming Alien Isolation soon. A very different game from this one. Yeah, I'm actually going to head to the options real quick. And I'm going to just change that count to 5. Just so it doesn't interrupt us so much. And, uh... Yeah, the reason I'm, I might be streaming Alien Isolation is because I have never played what's considered the best Alien game and one of the best horror games of that year. Despite my love of the franchise. And, uh, because I just don't really like horror games. Like, I played the crap out of uh, Fireteam Elite because it's an action game. But, uh, yeah, I want to get excited for Romulus. I have a little sound options I'll show you. So, yeah, the judgment timing and the display timing is, uh, yeah, it's a little different because it's usually just the one option. Slow the timing down. Maybe just like a little bit faster. That's fine. I don't need to test it. It is nice that there's a test option though, because there's not always a test option. Uh, anyways, game. Nope, game options. We're setting that max stage to five. Do not interrupt me as much, please. That should be good. Or maybe I made the arrow time even worse. Whatever the case, as long as the judgment timing is fine, then we'll just, the arrows will just disappear a little sooner and it'll look a little awkward. But yeah, I'm really excited for Alien Romulus. I'm trying not to get too, too excited because, like, eh, it could be okay. You know, Alien movies kind of fluctuate in quality. I like all of them, except Alien 3. I don't hate it, but I don't love it like all the other ones. Even AVP is fine. But, uh... Yeah, I'm going to let myself get a little excited, because I don't really get excited for much. Okay, got the sensor ready. But, uh, see, so yeah, I'm going to play Alien Isolation. I'm reading an alien book right now. Well, an AVP book. I just read an alien book, and I'm reading, like, an AVP short stories book until the next alien book comes in. if I made the air timing worse or better. Didn't need to keep jumping, but I did. franchise quite a bit. I feel a little guilty having not played Isolation yet. I've, re I've read the novelization and the sequel to the novelization. Not the sequel to Alien Isolation, that does not exist, but it does exist in novel format. I'm one of those crazy people that uh, read books still. And believe me, the Alien franchise is not, it's not just like five books, there's like 30 by now. 
And I've almost read all of them. Are you ready? Predator 2. Not nearly as many, but I've read most of those too. Oh, this is a nice slower one. Despite being a couple licensed songs in, there hasn't been an official music video yet. I know they exist. I think I misread those arrows. Oh, I guess that's another thing they added to this one. I don't think Supernova had like the character portraits when you're like doing okay. I don't know when they appear. Maybe it's when you hit like a certain amount of combo. Yeah, I just hit a 50 combo there. So it might be like every 50. We'll see if I can maintain this combo. Yeah, I lost the combo because I was <laughs> distracted by trying to figure out when the portrait appears. But yeah, I guess it's every uh, every 50 combos a little character portrait shows up. And the models definitely seem, like I think since Extreme, the models have improved in quality quite a bit. The backgrounds improve a little bit for um, the X series as well. Ooh, only a B, huh? Alright, this might be the first Tuffy. Already getting warm. <clears throat> also, I never turn the stage number up, so we're, this will be the first time we've ever heard the announcer say fourth and fifth stage. Missed one. I can see why I only got a B on this one. Some some tricky maneuvers at me. Okay. I found what that beat is supposed to be. supposed to lift my foot. Ooh, a tricky song that one. <sighs> you know it's weird I'm talking about Alien Romulus one. I should be talking about Deadpool versus Wolverine if I want those YouTube views. That's the big hotness right now. People are loving that movie. I liked the two Deadpool movies. What do you mean C on... Oh. Apparently I've done this one on an Expert and got a double A perfect combo. <clears throat> Weird that I have C on Difficult. I'm sure there's a weird reason for that. Let's do this one expert. Why the heck not? It sounds like a slow song. And I was able to do it super well on controller. Are you ready? Now, 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 now. 
Well, I didn't do great, but I could see how if I was to do that song one more time, I could do a lot better. That was not a particularly hard uh, song on that difficulty. Whatever it's called in this mode. Expert. Set back up to difficult. I'm just so ready on that sensor button in case an official music video comes up. And I'll have that anxiety until we uh until we leave this section of songs. Nope, still no music videos. Oh, I think the the drink I was sipping from. I think it sweat a little bit onto the dance mat because I just felt a little cold spot through my sock. Lost my combo there somewhere. Oh, I saw her shaking her tush a little bit there at the end. That's exciting. Okay, we're on a little tush shaking. <gasps> okay. Sorry, right, interrupted me with the five count. That's fine. I mean, some games have it, so that just is off. I wonder if, like, event song being off might change that. I left it on. I'd like, event song is like this kind of hidden thing where if you do, like, if your last song is on uh, difficult or whatever the hardest difficulty is, and you do, like, perfect or whatever, you unlock, like, a bonus stage or whatever. I'm not good enough for any of that, though, so it'll never happen. <laughs> Don't expect it to ever happen. Just realized it's been a while since I've uh, pulled the mat into the optimal position. Sometimes when I am doing the minimal editing of these episodes, I will notice that, uh, like I'm, like my foot is like 
barely stepping on the arrow, and I'm like, oh, geez. So now I'm a little conscious about that. You know, I guess someone that's committing themselves to doing this should have just bought like a better mat, huh? Get one of those like hard metal ones. Pay a ton on shipping. And then have this big bulky thing around forever. Aside from living and breathing Alien, the Alien franchise right now, I think I might also rewatch Prometheus and Covenant. Just because those are like the two movies I've seen the least. But, uh, Sympho Gear just recently got an update. Very exciting for that. It's like my favorite anime. Very music focused, so that's kind of on brand for this topic. It, uh, there is a Sympho Gear Next project in the works. Still not super sure exactly what it is. But uh, they did also just announce a like a retro soundtrack where they take like a Simple Gear songs and make them sound like 8-bit and stuff. That's pretty cool. Not really what I want. I want more anime, like a movie or something to watch. But you know, always happy for more Simple Gear. When they announced the um, the new uh, like whoop, retro sounding soundtrack. They had like these kind of like 8-bit looking visual, like video game-ish looking visuals with it. I'm getting super distracted by my Simple Gear chat. But the YouTube video had these like retro game looking visuals with like character sprites. And it got me a little excited thinking there'd be a Simple Gear game. I don't really like retro platformers. Or like platformers in general, but uh, you know, I, I if there was like a simple gear game like that that looked like an old Mega Man style game, I'd still be happy and I'd play it. But it's not really what I want. If Simple Gear was to make a video game, I'd want it to be an action game. Like, think Senra and Kagura, but without clothes exploding. Because, I mean, well, Simple Gear is a little bit pervy, but that's not the thing. So I'm thinking, like, Senra and Kagura combat. Which is very Musou-like. So you're fighting a bunch of enemies, and then having, like, a boss at the end kind of thing. It would suit the franchise. They fight lots of noise, which are, like, the weakling enemies. And then occasionally each other, which could be like the boss of each stage. Special moves could have a rhythm game component to them. Since it's all about music and singing. Like, that's pretty easy. Pretty easy gimme. But I don't know, I just don't think it's... I think it's too underrated. People don't appreciate Simple Gear as much as they should, so if you're watching this right now, give Simple Gear a chance. It's an excellent anime. And there will be something new. Ooh! Cover up that music video. I'd also like to apologize to um, anyone that lives in Russia and Belarus that might be interested in seeing these. Well, you probably won't see this episode. Whoop. There's always at least one licensed song that even though the music video is covered, it gets blocked in Russia and Belarus. So it's always in one of these first parts. So my apology is falling on deaf ears. Well, it's falling on the ears of the people that I'm not apologizing to. People that can see this. Yeah. I wonder what song it'll be this time. 
I never take note of it, so I can't really mention it in, like, future episodes, but... One of these licensed songs will get this video blocked in, uh, Russian Belarus. For sure. It's happened, like, pretty much every time since, uh, they started having, like, licensed music in it. Like, maybe as soon as, like, Max or Max 2, which was right away, pretty much. It might have been Max 2. Alright, I can get rid of this now. I'm sorry you couldn't watch that, uh, Ashley Tisdale music video. From what you could see under the arrows, you can probably gather that it wasn't very visually entertaining. It was just concert footage. Okay, let's keep moving on. Fourth stage. Another music video, perhaps? Nope. Some of these load a little bit longer than expected to do. Also, that picture of the character showed up way earlier than 50 arrows. That was at like 25. So honestly, I really can't gather. Maybe it's like every 25? Or maybe it's like 25, 50, 100? That was not the intended motion, but... <laughs> You're not supposed to slide one foot onto the sensor and take the other one off. Probably. Well, I guess speaking of music, a band that I've liked for a long time more than half my life at this point. Power Man 5000 released a new album like a month ago. My local, whoop, local uh, music stores did not have it for a while. And it was a little expensive, but I mean, everything's expensive now. I just feel like, eh. What was it, like $25 to $30 Canadian for a music CD on Amazon? I was like, oh, that's... Man, I remember when CDs were like $15. Showing my age a little bit there. But it was on sale for like, I don't know, 15% off, so I finally caved and bought it. Oh, it's actually right here on my desk. Abandoned Ship by Power Man 5000. If you're wondering who the heck is this Power Man 5000 Derek's talking about, the song When Worlds Collide and Bombshell. Those are their hits. If that still doesn't ring a bell, go ahead and YouTube When Worlds Collide, Power Man, and then you'll be like, oh, this song. Don't worry, you will recognize it. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it's it's a little more droney than I'd like. Like I like, like more exciting fast-paced music as I've no doubt expressed during these playthroughs. And the new Pyramid of a Thousand on Well, it's good. The lyrics are good, the music's fine. It's just a little dronier and slower than I'd like. It definitely has its moments that I think are really great, though. Oh, it's that stupid baby. Who is the baby for? Who is, who plays, you know what? If you're this person, let me know in the comments. Do you play DDR and then want to play as the baby? Who's playing the baby? Like, who's at the character select and goes, Oh yeah, I want to play as the baby. That's so cool. Okay, it just showed up when the combo was at like 23. So I really don't know when those portraits are popping. Also, I don't think... It might have been introduced in the X series. But when you do a full combo, which is not missing any arrows, it does this like cool like energy wave over the screen. It's just visually nice. The backgrounds are cooler too, they're a bit more dynamic. I think in like X2 at least, 
because I have not recently tested uh, DDRX yet. I just jumped ahead to, to do X2 because I ordered it on eBay and I wanted to make sure it was working. But like the backgrounds have like uh, things that kind of react to the beat. And that's pretty cool. I have a feeling that that's going to be the song that gets me blocked in Russia. Sorry, Russians. 